My name is Kim Banks, and I'm the supervisor at Palmer Wall over the recorder department. And today I'm going to be showing you how to calibrate a single pin pressure recorder. The first thing that you want to do in calibrating a, a pressure recorder, or any recorder for that matter, is check your pin tension. Pin tension should tilt the recorder about this much and the pin should fall away from the chart. The one reason pin tension is so important, it keeps the pin from burrowing into the chart over time. And to release some pin tension on the pin, you can simply take the pin and massage it gently. Like such. And it may take a couple of tries to get your pin tension right. Okay, we now have the pin tension correct. And if you will notice, the pin arm itself is parallel to the chart plate. We've not bowed it, put a hump in it or anything. And then if you tilt the recorder forward, the pin gently falls off the chart. But when you put the recorder back upright, the pin then sets back on the chart and marks. And you don't want a real heavy mark. You want a gentle, light mark. After you get the pin tension set, then you can work on the arc line of the recorder. And the reason that an arc line is so important is it is a point of calibration that is always the same. If you just calibrate this recorder like it is right now, anytime you remove this pin and put it back on, your calibration is going to change if you do not put it back on the arc line. The arc line is a measured distance. So let's check our arc line. And to check the arc line, you can do it two ways. You can take and disconnect your linkage here at the ratio arm, or you can loosen the set screw that attaches the adjust arm onto the pivot of the pressure system. I've not tightened this yet, so mine is just a simple matter of swinging it back and forth. And we'll get a little bit more pin pressure here. So as you see, my arc line's not correct. So we want to push it on just a little bit. As you can see, we now have the arc line set. So now the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure all of your adjustments are in the center. And what I mean by in the center is you have a micro adjustment here, and all that does is position what your actual calibration is going to be on the chart, so you want it in the center. So if you need to move it a little low or a little high, you still have room to do so. In your calibration tab here, you also, it will also want it in the center. So they're in the center, so let's tighten down our system at zero. And by doing that, we're just tightening this set screw. And you want to pull it down to where it tightens down at zero. And anytime you're calibrating a recorder, you really should tighten everything as if it's the last time you will need to because if by chance I get lucky and hit the calibration with the first adjustment, if I go back and tighten anything, then I've messed up my calibration. So any, anything that you're tightening up on a box, you should tighten it as if it's the last time you're ever gonna touch it. 
So now we've set it as close as we can to zero using this. So we want to take our micro adjustment, set it down to zero. Alright, we're on zero. Today I'm using gauges to calibrate the system with. So I'm going to cut off my exhaust. This particular system is a zero to 1,000. As you can see, my calibration fell a little short. So this adjust tab here, to increase my span, to bring my span on up here, you want to bring the tab down. To decrease my span, if I had it way up too high, you would take it closer to the system. It either decreases or increases the amount of travel. So I need to increase my span today. So you just loosen the small little screw and take the knurl nut and then when you loosen the screw it will loosen the tab on this shaft and you take the nut and just bring, roll it till you bring the tab down. You make the adjustment you feel is correct, tighten the little screw back and for me I always start at zero. So I take and release all my... See, I'm no longer on zero because I made an adjustment up here. So then I take my micro adjustment and I adjust my span back up to zero because I am now at zero. So now we will simply repeat the process until we get the system calibrated. So, see, I'm still a little short, so we just want to repeat the process that we've just done. Loosen the screw counterclockwise. Take your finger and just work that neural nut down. Tighten the screw back because by chance I may be correct. Brought it back off the of zero, so I'm going to take the micro adjustment, put it back at zero. Whenever you do a calibrator's tap, you always tap to a neutral location. If I were to bang my recorder real hard on this side, I could possibly cause it to read a little better one way, or if I was to do it here, I might to make it look a little bit better to this side, but the correct tap is to the top of the box.
calibrated. This is a zero to 1,000. We're at zero and here, and we're at 1,000 at the top. So now let's check a middle point on the chart. When we calibrate, we do zero, we do the middle going up, top, and then the middle coming down. So I was at the bottom, top, and I did the middle coming down. So now I want to do the middle going up. Psi going up. Let's just go on to a thousand, double check our top. Okay, that's the calibration of a recorder. For more information on temperature and pressure recorder products from Palmer Wall Instruments, please call us at 1-800-421-2853 or 828-658-3131. Or you can visit us online at www.palmerwild.com.